Hi traders, uh, it's the 9th of June and you guys are watching the effects of uh, the UK elections right now. Now, I did release an article this morning that Theresa May would actually win the seats. Um, I, I call that totally wrong. Now, the reason I call that wrong is because of technical analysis. Technical analysis suggested to me that uh, GDP USD would rise and I kind of put my money on, on, on May. I made a mistake, big one, because I'm not going to try and predict once again um, the outcome of political events. I will be predicting what I do best, the outcome of price movement after specific events. Now I get that correct maybe 80 on some months, 90% of the time, and you can just watch history of the NFP. So far I've done 10 NFPs, I got one wrong, 9 correct, uh, 9 in a row correct, the last one I got totally wrong. Um, but that's fine, I, it's 90% on that. Uh, many different elections, the Trump election, the Brexit, I predicted all of those things. And right now what I'm saying is that GDP USD will be heading up here. So my long-term buy target uh, for weeks and months is up here, 145. Uh, first, I'm going to give you a short-term trade on Euro USD. This is Euro USD, Euro USD's daily chart. I set up these three different targets here: uh, 113, 500. Then we have up here that's 115, and then 116 as the most bullish one possible. Now these are big moves, so I've taken a buy on my MT4 account, which I think I should move to C Trader. C Trader is just so much better. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, taking a buy. Based on this levels here, uh, I'm taking uh, technical indications from this pattern here created. I'm not going to go over what it is, uh, but I will be going over why I'm buying. So the trend line here supports the idea of bullish movement. Uh, the, the latest swing down and swing up as well supports bullish movement. And my first target is up here, that's 190 pips. Second target is up to this trend line here, that's 330 pips. And finally, a possible breakout could occur, and that would mean 430 pips. This is short, medium, long-term targets. Okay? Uh, my money is on the short right away. That's where I'm targeting. My most sure target is target number two. I am convinced it will be hit. If I'm convinced target number two will be hit, of course, I'm definite that target one will be hit. So, that's Euro USD. This is uh, the daily chart, so I'm not looking for taking profit on the day. I did open this trade today, this is Friday, it's 12.15 in Cyprus, um, that means it's, um, that means it's, uh, what, uh, 9, yeah, 9, 9.15 in the UK uh, morning, the elections are wrapping up, uh, I'm sure people will have speeches after this, the Labour and the uh, and it's, uh, another party they're going to be speaking that could move the GDP. I don't see much more downside. Now I need to show you this. I don't see much more downside. We did take a buy here at the bottom. The guys in the room made some money, uh, which is very good, which is always very good. Um, I do see maybe a retest happening. I'm going to go down to the four hour chart and I'm going to show you this. Um, I do see maybe one more retest of this trend line here, which is a very important level. Right there, I had a pending order, and at the end of this video, you're going to see the results of those trades. Now, I had a pending order right here for buy, did take a sell downwards, made good pips, then had a trailing stop, closed it out, and uh, took another buy trade uh, with the trailing stop. I was actually at the bank, didn't even know that was happening. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just came home and I looked at my station and I said, wow, I'm a happy man, I'm ending Friday in the best possible way, and I still have trades open. So I'll show you the open trades once we're done with this and I'll show you the tra closed trades. Some scenarios. Here are some scenarios. Some scenarios are that the retest could happen on this trend line again, the 126 level. Uh, that's one scenario and scenario number two is price goes up and scenario number three is price comes down and then goes up. Anyway, I'm definitely medium and long term buy on GBP USD. Um, I do see this level here as a very important resistance, right there, major resistance. Uh, GBP will have some, uh, cable will have some time, hard time breaking this area. Um, but like I said, I think I think uh, eventually in the next couple of weeks or a couple of months, price could really be up above the 40 level. Um, in the, uh, yeah, basically in that time frame. 
gonna go over Euro USD again. I did take a buy here. I am not trading for the day. I am trading for a bit longer term. I'm gonna try and grab as many pips as I can here. My ultimate goal on these two trades is maximal return. So I'll do everything I can to generate the most profit I can. Or the most pips. We obviously know pips matter, just like the name of this beautiful firm. They absolutely do. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. Hang on for a second. You're going to see some results uh, of today's trading. Thank you. Happy weekend. See you next week. So these are the two, the two current trades I have right now. Uh, Euro USD buy. It was ranging between 4 pips negative upwards of 7-8 pips in profit. Now it's 2. I still see, I still see the pair going a little bit lower. Um, let, me, let me just check. A little bit lower, maybe about 10-20 20 pips maximum downside before before a strong um, well momentum turns to the upside. GBP USD is going well, 11 pips almost there. I have two orders on the GBP. They're both buys and they're below current price, quite far away. But we'll see how that works out. And the history for today. So we have three very nice trades here: GBP USD buy, GBP NZD buy, uh, GBP USD sell and this 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 big mistake here uh, rushed into a trade initially wanting to uh, wanted to to long the GBP made a mistake came in early anyway the day still still finished very green I mean this trade covers double of basically the, the pair um, I used trailing stops on all of these positions so they were stopped out with trailing stops their profits were much bigger but I'm absolutely happy with them that's it my name is Dennis Thank you for watching this video. Uh, head over to pipsmatter.com and see how we can help you to seize your trading. Goodbye.